Welcome back to Let's Play Death Spank, Thongs of Virtue. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here at the Sanctuary, where everything is cheery except for the stories. I noticed a thing earlier. It was in here. Yeah, that. Travel to the snowy mountains to find a mysterious cave entrance deep within Pip Trooper territory. I think that's the cave with the quest inside of it. The one of the silent monk. I accidentally stumbled across the DLC thing. Let's see, last time we talked to all these guys, it was super depressing. I accidentally picked a fight with a chicken, and then to my chagrin had to run away because it just would not let it drop. <laughs> and, uh... Now I guess we head further north. Sup, Monk of Admittance. Greetings, Monk. What exactly are you guarding, Monk? This is the Mother Mary Josephine Teresa... Henrietta Maria Catalina Alexandra, Melina Georgina Patricia Lolita, Armada Ramada Parana Gonorrhea, Margarita Senorita Ballerina, Bacteria Cafeteria, etc., etc. Sanctuary for the Wounded. Sanctuary? Finally, the wounded have a protected habitat to call their own. We tend to the gravely injured. We do not breed them. Wow. I was just thinking to myself that, uh, whenever I do a boss fight video, I put the boss's name in the tags, so it'll show up in searches. Maybe I'll just put none. Who oh, is this Mary Josephine whatever person you mentioned? She has the kindest eyes and warmest heart. Even her kidneys are radiant. She has dedicated her life to helping those in need and providing a positive societal influence. I should get going. Peace be with you. So the conversation options there seem to make it make it out to be exclusive, but I don't know that he'll actually do anything if I try to... Oh, no, no, no. The Must sanctuary have made it right is up to the line, off limits then. to anyone who isn't near death. Ah, uh, okay, I can immediately see where that's going. Greetings, monk. Why don't you step aside and let me in? Only those gravely injured and near death may enter. Let me through. I have business with your leader. Visitors are not permitted inside the sanctuary. But I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden. Only those gravely injured and near death may enter. I should get going. Oh, Peace God. Peace be with you. Okay, time to go get myself nearly killed. Where's the first enemy I can find? Where's the first dignified enemy I can find? Oh, now we're talking. And go! Thank you, spiders! No hard feelings, and I have to come back and kill you. Dibs. <laughs> By the gracious gravy of heaven, you're wounded. Quick, you must come inside so that we may tend to you. Oh, good I don't ad. ever want to have to tell you two again. You are not to walk on the grass with bare feet. With all due respect, Reverend Mother, I... For the love of all that is holy, what part of it disrupts the pH balance, don't you understand? But, uh, 
We apologize, oh compassionate one. It won't happen again. See that it doesn't, because next time there will be eternal pain and torment involved. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have yoga exercises to attend to. Another Maria, etc. I was just gonna say, wouldn't a proper, like, nomenclature for a, a nun just be sister and then whatever her very first name is? Or I guess mother in this case, since she's the mother superior? Our gentle and pious Mother Superior created this heavenly sanctuary. For those of you who didn't go to Catholic school, Mother Superior is the head uh, nun, for lack of a better uh, description. Imagine there's no gravity. It's easy if you fall. Uh, as I recall, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy uh, novels... The trick to flying is to throw yourself at the ground and distract yourself at the last possible second so that you forget to hit the ground and just keep going. <laughs> just sort of gliding along. And then you pull up. Conveniently enough, they leave out the uh, description of how you do that part. Nice. The gods and goddesses are in all of us, and all of us are gods and goddesses. The gods and goddesses... I am one with the universe. Greetings, monk. I need to see that Mother Maria etc. lady. What do I need to do to get an appointment with her? Well, just give me a minute, and I'll check for you. So how are the kids? Guess we just gonna smash those barrels. That's a thing I can do. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to follow the guy inside. Temple of Altars. Oh god! A library book. I need to find a way to get into the catacombs inside the sanctuary to get to get to that evil nun. I should pay close attention to what these monks do to get in. Maybe I could do the same thing, as long as it doesn't involve self-flagellation. That's when you whip yourself to purify yourself of your sins. They don't really recommend that one anymore. Real big in the Middle Ages, though. Holy shit. To go into the catacombs and find that which is hidden, just cleanse your mind and heart and soul by burning the forbidden. Oh, it's a book burning ritual, huh? But they don't sell the forbidden book, and they don't rent the forbidden books at the library. Which library book was that that I just picked up, anyway? It's Demons and Demons by Helena Handbasket. I like the name of the uh, author, I mean. And I'm pretty sure that is how that would be pronounced, by the way. Demons and Demons. I'm going off of uh, Warhammer for that one, where they always include the A and always pronounce it Demons. Hmm. How rich it is, too. Rich. Uh, I guess we're heading back to town. Okay. Need to figure out this stuff. Uncomfortable, Monk. I don't know, Brother Darren. I'm still not entirely comfortable with the idea. That's the other oh, one. Oh, don't be such a coward, Brother Dennis. The greater shame would be to waste such a lovely day sweltering in these robes. Greetings, holy men. Trouble in paradise, I see. Ah, I was merely suggesting to Brother Dennis here that we go for a short, unrobed swim in the lake. Considering that it is indeed a very hot day at all. And I was suggesting to Brother Darren that such a notion would be entirely inappropriate. We men of the cloth 
are obligated to conduct ourselves with modesty and dignity. But it's not like anyone's going to see us. The gods and goddesses can always see us. And believe me, we've nothing worth seeing. Does it bother anyone else that the chickens have teeth? It keeps distracting me, because there's one right there. Hmm. Ah, there's the compromise! Why don't you just go swimming in your robes? Absolutely not. <laughs> what a Everyone terrible idea. will know what we've been up to if we stroll in here all soaking wet. They do take forever to dry, you see. A skinny dip in the lake does sound like fun. See, Brother Dennis? It's not just me. What is this world coming to? Have you no shame at all? Hmm. I'll leave you two to your holy business. Gods and goddesses bless you. Knowing this game, if I, you know, encouraged them, it would only lead to the creation of an entire sect of nudist monks, and, uh... Uh... That is uh, not a sentence I ever expected to speak. Greetings, monk. I should get going. Peace be with you. And also with you. But, um... Am I going to need to hurt myself again the next time I come here? I suppose it's a good thing there were all those uh, spiders. To town! While I'm appearing here, shout out to Roshan, who pointed out that as uh, unpleasant as it was to hear about Deathsmank putting that crystal right in his shorts, right in his thong, as it was, he spe specified that. I want you to imagine how unpleasant it would have been for the uh, the Spelunker, when Deathspank returned from the quest and pulled the crystal out of his thong in front of him. Need no potions, got tons of food. Hey, the town medic's gonna heal me. How about that? Greetings again, male nurse. Behold, all the healing you could ever need. I don't think you understand the scale of the problem, but thanks, hero. And it is a war. Greetings again, male nurse. Can you heal me now? Well, since the lawsuit, I'm not allowed to administer any healing directly. But I can give you something to administer to yourself. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. New in, uh, things for Sandy. Greetings again, Sandy. It's just strange to me that uh, she's been this mysterious character Goodbye, who kept appearing and disappearing Sandy. in the first one, and now she's just kind of there. Oh, right, the library. It's I am actually here. All right, Ms. Tome. Greetings again, uptight librarian. Shush. I think Wait. I'll go read some books now. If only I could believe that. What the hell did that book go? That's what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demons and demons. So that sounds about right. What did I also get? Oil paintings of bunnies doing cute things, and the eyeball monster in the hot pink sombrero. Well, one of those certainly doesn't sound like what I need right now. Greetings again. Shush. How do I return books? Give me the books you wish to return, and I'll do the rest. Oh, okay. I think I'll go read some books now. If only I could believe that. Why is it so quiet? Oh, right, it's a library. Ha! Ah! So I'm just enjoying the dainty little footsteps down. Stound. Yes. Let's go with that. Uptight librarian. Shush. Wait, no, that's not how that works. I wasn't. Uh. I... Right. Uh huh. One of these days I'll get the butons right on my first attempt. Oh, hey. Hey, that's a lot of damage. Let's slap that one on. Donk. 
Fire axe two, hot steel, a burning axe for cool justice. Uh, let's see. I go up here and I use item. I don't remember which one is which. Damn it! Ah, uh, I'll remember that in the future. Okay, it's the purple one, not the uh, or no, it's the blue one, not the purple one. Are you returning a book? It did not meet my high standards for literature. It wouldn't let me read it. Uh Thousand and One Violent Bedtime Stories, that could be it. I thought I removed all the smut from the shelves. Okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be holding this weapon here. You know, given that it's on fire and all. Huh. Huh. That's weird. Shit. None of this stuff sounds right. Just that one book. No, oh, no, that's right. I do this. Oh! It can't be that simple. Hmm. I can't just be pick the red ones, can it? Oops. Sorry. Uh, I don't think there are any other red books. Oh, for lack of any better idea. How many do I actually have? Alright, that's five. Let's do this for lack of a better idea. I kind of hoped it would be clearer than that. But now the question is... Do I have to go and get myself nearly killed again before I can get in there? Nope. Greetings, monk. So, what did Mother Mary Teresa blah 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 say? I'm sorry, but she is booked solid for the next five years. Great. I really need to see Mother What's-Her-Face. It's urgent. <sighs> Fine. I'll check again. So where's he getting all these sinful books? Uh huh. All oh, right, it's Y, not A. Here goes! Piss drink. And I've destroyed all these books! Okay, 
you can't turn it off and get the books back. So I'm gonna go uh, leave. Shit. I really hope I haven't just screwed myself. That would be a really weirdly obvious way to uh, break the game. Oops, what am I doing? That is not what I interact with. This is... Another note I've already collected has decided to return. gonna do. I don't even have the demon's book that was certainly uh, supposed to be in there. Greetings again, up to Shush. I seem to have uh, misplaced some of the books I checked out. Does your shame know no boundaries? You'll have to pay a fine of one dollar. It's okay. I'll pay your fine. That's four. Oh! Still didn't help. They're not here anymore. I guess I'll just go die. I felt bad enough of burning books to begin with. Now I have ruined everything. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of uh, Let's Play Death Spank Thongs of Virtue when I try to figure out how to salvage this situation. Oh, jeez. Later!